Canada. Wait, I think it's A. Uh, a? Isn't it? Isn't it like a E? I'm just joking. I don't know. That was just an enthusiastic. I know. A. <laughs> I finally rolled out of the bunky. Badge calls this a bunky. By the way, this thing's going to be gone in a week, and actually, we're going to be gone in two. I guess today is the day that we reveal why we are going to Denver, Colorado. But first, everybody meet Lola. Hey Lola. Whatever Lola wants, including Badge's uh, stuffed animals that we won't tell him about that um, Lola tried to get in there, but I quickly took the toys away. And so. all the patch of snacks. And what? Oh yeah. And all the food. And I haven't had a dog since my dog got ran over by a car. What? What? Are you joking? No. It's been a long time. And I, I don't remember everything that happens with dogs, but it's a funny thing that happens. This dog will go after the other dog's treats. And the other dog won't touch their own treats, but they want to touch each other's treats. It's the weirdest thing. Anyways, let's get started on uh, what we're doing today. What are we doing today? Well, this thing is going to be completely waterproof today. Me and, me and Badge have set a mission. That's ambitious. It's not ambitious. We're going to do it. Okay. And uh, then tomorrow we're going to start your, uh, your subfloor. Well, I wish you had some more uh, help because I feel like people are getting a little lazy. Oh, hey, Dean. Hello. Um, so today we, <laughs> we're going to work on some stuff and do the stuff. That's the kind of program we're running. That's a reference to Camp Grant host Brad. He's absolutely hilarious. Okay, recap. Panels are up. We have wood for the subfloor. We have uh, more insulation stuff. That's going to happen after these knuckleheads uh, waterproof it. And uh, that just means we're going to plug these holes here. And then after that, I think we're done on the exterior for a while. That's a very exciting thing. Exterior work, when it rains, is not the easiest thing in the world. And by the way, the video with the uh, beaver removal came out the other day. And uh, you guys should just know that I am just documenting life as it is. So, obviously I didn't want to show the beaver removal, because I know some people need uh, earmuffs over their eyes, and that's all right. And uh, we are meat eaters, and if that is offensive, I highly recommend vegan channels out there. There are plenty, very nice people. Oh, and also, I am an advocate of if you are going to, you know, if something is going to be killed, eat it. Otherwise, don't kill it. Don't touch it. Good morning, Badge. Good morning. What do you got to say for yourself? About? Huh? What are we talking about? Well, we're just talking about how amazing today is. It is amazing today. You know why? Why? Because they charged somebody in the Humboldt accident. The what? The bus accident up in Saskatchewan killed all them hockey players. Oh. I didn't, well, uh, that was a few months ago. Yeah. I remember that. They finally charged somebody. That's sad. So we'll find out at 1 o'clock who it was. All right. Okay. That's a bonus. Yeah. Well, that's good. Glad they found who's so at what fault. What are you doing? Just going for a walkabout? Yeah, walkabout. Let's go harass well, these here, guys. The... Everybody knows how nice Badge is, right? So Badge is doing a favor to this really nice guy, Don, that I met. And uh, this is Badge's second trailer. So he's going to help him out, and he's going to drive it down there, and they're going to do a little switcheroo and uh, Don is now going to have a place to live uh, besides a vehicle. Got the awning back on it and everything. That's right, Some fixed it up. He took it off in the car wash. Oh yeah, who's that? I don't know who it was, but I <laughs> I think I sleep with the guy every time. <laughs> he was a little bit of an asshole and ripped the awning right yeah, off. Yeah, so well. I, we got it all back on. Yeah, now. if you look in the mirror, I think you'll find him. You think? <laughs> All right, so Badge is getting this thing all set up. This has been our humble abode uh, for a little while. I think you guys saw this before, but we've we just been, you know, trying to keep it kind of clean. But um, anyways, let's get to work. Good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon. <laughs> Hello there. What's good? Hello, campers. <laughs> hey, oh, my God, there's a camera in here. <laughs> I was like, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> uh, I'm sticking the camera in. I was just totally... No, it's all you're good. What if doing I the naked? periscope. Uh, I, I could use it for my thumbnail like you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So funny. We had some, I'm glad they came. We had some fun conversations last night. It's always fun to meet up other pe other people who make YouTube videos. Because then we can c complain about how little we're paid from YouTube for all the stuff that we do. You can whine about all the stupid stuff. <laughs> but it's fun. It is. And these guys have the cutest dog ever. 
Except when she runs away. True. Oh my god. I don't know. We didn't catch it because I don't think any. Wait, you guys brought the camera. Did uh, we? we, get... we I turned it off because I was so scared. Oh, dude, there was a deer ran into the woods and both the dogs went chasing after him. There's coyotes in this area. So we didn't know. Like, the dogs were in come back and I felt so bad. I was like, oh shit. And then five minutes later. It's my fault they ran <laughs> off because we went in the golf cart. So. <laughs> Five minutes later, she yeah. raises from the woods. Yeah. Like a little savage. Yeah. How many ticks do you have on you right now? How many ticks are you bringing in here? Yeah. How many ticks? <laughs> Probably a lot. You guys want to do some work today? Yeah. Yeah. What, what that are we That was doing? very enthusiastic. Well, yeah. I didn't pretend. <laughs> uh, there were so many mosquitoes in here last night that I didn't sleep too good. Oh my gosh. And I just banged out a video. So I can't believe I can't believe Jordan edits on a MacBook Air from circa 2006, but <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to, try to make funny, but that's you difficult, gotta, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. You I know. thought mine was slow, but that one's gotta be slower. Super slow. It's yeah. just... a tiny little screen. And... Yep. That's right. It is what it is. First world problems. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> By the way, this is looking good up here. I like the new, the new sofa, bench. couch, bench We got thing. rainwater, too. Big upgrades. Got oh, yeah. Stove. That's a big upgrade. That's a pretty sick sofa. Yeah. That's a yeah. I like okay, it. Got drawers. Moving on up. Yeah. Big things. Mm -hmm. Big things. Jax is going to cover the windows because it's really important not to get sparks all over them because it makes a permanent mark on them. Yeah, and, and we learn by our own mistakes because uh, we. We screwed up a few windows. I have a few in mind too. So Mike's on the inside here. He's putting pressure against that thing. But um, uh, if anybody is doing uh, anything like this, what? Re real men use their hands. <laughs> oh, there you go, Dean. Burn your hands. <laughs> It gets so hot that it gets red all the way through the inside. Just want a quick uh, thank you uh, sent out to uh, Jeff Marshall. Thank you so much for joining Patreon. All right, so uh, we did a few of these before. These are the last two remaining, and then after that, we're going to work on more stuff. Surprise, surprise. Last remaining windows are up. Thanks to Dean, and uh, thanks to Michael and Badge. We've got the, the window holes, well, not the window, but the uh, headlight holes covered. We welded those. It's gonna bond to the other side, make them nice and flat. That way you won't see any screws or rivets. All right, if you guys saw my last bus when I was in Austin, Texas in the winter time, I had custom things cut out and then screwed them in there and then never did anything with it. I want this to be a full advertisement, maybe like the YouTube logo, Jack's Austin, Instagram logo, uh, things like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're gonna play with everybody's favorite toy today. It's called Bondo. And this stuff, I don't know why people don't like it. It's the same stuff, basically, that I fixed my surfboard with when I would get dings in it. It's just some kind of resin, two-part resin hardener. Well, there we go. And I know what you guys are thinking. Was I a body repairman in a previous life? And the correct answer is absolutely yes. Look at the sheen, shine, smooth flavor texture going on right there. That's just like top notch. After lunch, let the sun go down a little bit. It's kind of hot up here, a little humid too. 40% humidity, 80, 84 degrees today. Let's check in and check in on badge. See how this Wabasto is coming along. What are you doing? Pretty good. This, by the way, guys, is a Wabasto. I mentioned in a previous video, there's two different types. This is a coolant heater Wabasto. The other kind is an air heater Wabasto. It runs on diesel fuel, which is this tiny little line here. And uh, it's going to keep my uh, coolant warm. It's going to keep, go. keep the engine warm. And it will uh, help me in case I have a cold weather start. It'll keep the veggie oil nice and warm and only takes, what, a quart of Very low. diesel for like 10 hours Very or something? Low. 0.64 yeah. of a liter. That's not much at all. That's not much at all. Yeah. 
So, what's going on down here? We're putting the fuel line covering on here so I don't get a hole in it, you see? Excellent. I thought you'd like that. Oh, yeah. I always like when you do nice stuff. Yeah, but, but you know, the cost reflects it, you see? Yeah. I know that uh, not cheap. That 25, 50 feet of uh, plastic uh, protector stuff, that was big money. I think it was a whopping $4 or something. No, this is stuff that comes with the Vasto. Oh, okay, good. This is like free stuff. <laughs> you like free. We like free and, stuff. And we also need to thank Ryan again for uh, getting us a, a deal on this Wabasto here. This is a good little deal, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, it comes with everything. All you have to do is just get a little bit of ambition, which is sometimes a little hard. Yeah, when it's a little warm out. And get it put in. Yep. That's all. But yep. yeah, it all works. All we got to do is put the fuel wine, then we got to put some water in it. Yep. And by and water, he means uh, coolant because uh, we had to drain it. Because we're waiting for a uh, fuel pump in oh, here, God. so we're going to short circuit this don't, thing. Don't get me started on waiting on we're stuff. We're going to put on a short circuit thing. We, uh, Can we tell you not to buy waste vegetable oil stuff? Can we tell you that? <laughs> Here's, there, so, I, I mentioned before, I got a deal on some parts, but boy oh boy. They're a deal if you can get them. We, <laughs> that's right, they're a deal if you can get them. We've been waiting so long for some parts, so it's thrown off some things. But, but very it's not, importantly, yeah. very importantly is with this Wabasto, you show them the fuel pump up there? Fuel pump? Which one? Yeah. The one yeah. up on, you yeah. show them that? Mm -hmm. That fuel pump has to go with this. You can't just take any pump and put on it. it oh, you mean the one on the tank? Exactly. The, yeah. the one for this type of heater. He's talking about the sucker from the... Because the, it sets it in centimeters of the fuel. Yep. And if you put too big a one, it'll burn too much fuel. Alright guys, I'll, I'll take you right now. We'll have a peek what he's talking yeah. about, just so, you, so you're on the same page. Alright, this is what Badge is talking about. He had to drill out a hole. And this is the, uh, the little fuel pump deal right there. That is sending the fuel over to the Wabasto. Um, <laughs> just so you know, we had to drill into this thing, so um, there will be little metal shards in there, possibly. And that's what fuel filters are for. and gentlemen boys and girls Mike's been helping out with the front Bondo part so I'm gonna install my favorite new toy an air horn I will do the uh, rest of the install the next video I think but that's where the mounting plate goes bolt 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 airline uh, that's gonna come we're gonna Put it all the way down, we're gonna hide it, and it is this one right here. So we got plenty, we got plenty to go down and around. All right, we're having another uh, Canadian rain delay. So uh, we're gonna cut out for today's video. I think today's video is a little bit shorter than most, but uh, we'll get cracking on the uh, air horn. We'll bass though, some other stuff. Um, I tried to kind of like keep the jobs together, but it's really hard to do that, and I can't guarantee that's possible for the rest. They're going to be like so mixed up, there's going to be multiple jobs in every video, just the nature of the build. Mm -hmm. 